In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a random number guessing game in Python. And before I show you how to code it, I'm going to show you what it does. So it's going to prompt us and it's going to say random number between 1 and we get to pick. So between 1 and 12. It says pick a number between 1 and 12. So we'll say 5. It says your guess was high, so it's got to be lower than 5. 4. Your guess was high, so it's got to be lower than 4. 3. You guessed it. And that's basically what this program does. If you'd like to see how to code it, stick around for the next section. So the first thing we need to do is import the random module. So we're just going to say import random. And we do this because we need the computer to pick a random integer. Next, we need to get input from the user. And this input is going to specify the range of numbers that the computer is going to pick a random number between. So we're just going to create a variable called n. And we're going to set it equal to the input. What we're going to put in here is we're going to ask the user to specify the upper bounds of the interval. So we're just going to say enter a num between 1 and and then the user types in the upper bounds. From here, we need to get a random, uh, we need the computer to pick a random integer between 1 and the upper bounds of the interval th that the user specified up here. So what we can say is number is equal to random dot randint and this is why we imported the random module because the random module has the randint method and this randint method picks a random number between the two numbers or integers that we enter here so if we entered 1 and 7 this randint method would pick a random integer between 1 and 7 however we don't want it to be between 1 and 7 we want it to be between 1 and n or the integer slash upper bound that the user has entered as input here. Also, this input method returns strings by default. So regardless of what we enter as input, whether it be an integer or a float, it will return a string to this variable here. This function, randint, requires us to enter two integers. So right now, if we ran this, it would throw an error. So what we need to do is to convert this input into an integer by using the int method and now it should work perfectly. Now what we need to do is create our guess. So we're just going to call create a variable called guess and set it equal to the input and we're just going to tell the user to enter or enter a number or pick a number between 1 and the upper bounds of the interval that the user has specified up here. So we're just going to say enter a number between 1 and so what we're going to be doing is using the format method, and I'll explain to you in a second how it works. So whatever we type in here as, as input, it will replace these curly brackets right here. So if we enter in right here and say the user entered 20 for the upper bounds and now n is 20, what this would say is enter a number between 1 and 20. And that's all that does. So from here, what we need to do is we need to create a while loop and we're just going to say while guess does not equal number and what this is going to do is while our guess does not equal the random integer that the user has at the that the computer has picked this while loop is going to run forever and ever and ever however um, these have to be two integers to perform this specific um, check that does not equal check on it. So what we have to do is convert this input into an integer as well. Okay. So while guess is not equal number, what we're going to do is perform a couple if statements. We're going to say if the guess is less than the number, and we're also going to say if the guess is greater than the number. What we're going to put in here, if the guess is less than the number, what we need to say, uh, tell the user is that their guess was low. So we're just going to print your guess was low. And then what we need to do is we need to ask them to pick another random number. Because if we didn't, in this while loop, it would print your guess was low forever and ever and ever. So what we need to do is we can copy this. Copy and paste it in here. 
Yeah, and that's that works just like that. So now what we need to do is if their guess was greater than the number, what we need to do is print your guess was high. And then we need to ask them to enter another number. Once their number, or once our guess, the user's guess, equals the random number that the computer has entered as input, it's going to break out of this while loop. And what happens when we break out of this while loop is we want the uh, we want to tell them that they guessed the number. So we're going to print you guessed it. Okay, and if we ran this, run hello, enter a number between 1 and we'll say 15. Enter a number between 1 and 15, we'll say 7. Your guess was low, we'll say 9. Your guess was low, we'll say 11. Your guess was low, 13. Guess was low, 14. I guess it was 15. You guessed it. And if we wanted to uh, improve the aesthetics of this a little bit, what we could do is import the time module. And between every single, um, uh, every time we tell the user that their guess was low or their guess was high, we can say time.sleep. And we're just going to sleep one second between telling them their guess was low and asking them to enter another number. So we'll do this here too time.sleep one second and if we ran it again enter a number between 1 and 20 um, 14 your guess was high 12 your guess was high 5 high 2 guess was low 3 you guessed it and as you can see it slept um, one second between each time that it uh, asked us to enter another number so that's basically it. Um, I hope that it was helpful and you learned something. And if you did, I would appreciate it if you liked, commented, and subscribed.